Hey guys, just a couple quick news updates for Star Trek Online. First off, uh, on the console side of things, the pre-anniversary event giveaways are starting today. Because these already went live on PC a couple weeks ago, we already know what they're going to be. So uh, today, that's March 7th, uh, console is getting four ship slots. And then tomorrow, they are getting uh, two Ultimate Tech upgrades. On the 9th, uh, you're getting three Infinity Promo R&D packs. On the 10th, you're getting an Experimental Upgrade token for your ships. On the 11th, you're getting three Infinity Promo Delta Alliance Duty Officer packs, so that's technically six promo boxes in total. And then on the 12th, you'll be getting a 100% off coupon for a Tier 6 ship from the Sea Store. And that last one that uh, will be up for an entire week, so that'll be running from the 12th to the 19th. So just to reiterate, these first five will be available for just the one day that they're live, but then that last one, the 100% off coupon, that will be a, that will be live for a whole week from the 12th to the 19th. So you got time for that last one, but those first those first five, you definitely want to jump on. And if you're undecided about what to pick up with your 100% coupon, keep in mind the anniversary bundle will be coming in a few weeks for you guys on console. And even then, if you're still undecided, I did just put out the top 10 sea store ships updated for this year. And on the PC side of things, uh, we got a patch this morning, and it has addressed some issues that have been affecting the game for the past several weeks, ever since uh, the anniversary event went live. One of these biggest issues was with the new bridge officer abilities that came in the last generation lockbox. So that's uh, Organic Nebula, Malicious AI, and Tractor Beam. Uh, they, they're saying that they've finally fixed uh, some of the performance issues with that. Uh, mainly that performance issue was that they had no minimal cooldown, so they were uh, greatly taxing the server performance. So hopefully that has been addressed. I, I did play a little bit this morning just to do my daily. Uh, I didn't notice any lag, but you know, I, I did play a, a ground match, so I probably wouldn't have felt that e anyway, because these are all space abilities. But um, let me know what you guys are uh, experiencing. Uh, are you still experiencing a bunch of lag or do, do things seem better now? Additionally, Malicious AI has been tweaked a bit, so it is not nearly as brutal when it's used against other players. So this should make a lot of the PvP players happy because I know I, I had heard that uh, Malicious AI had, make it, had made PvP just incredibly broken. You know, more broken than it already is. So the changes include instead of it being a hold on any players, now it just takes players' uh, engines offline. Uh, the impulse offline duration should now be reduced uh, by player targets control exp uh, control expertise, uh, and uh, malicious AI should now be clearable on a wider range of cleanse abilities. I'm not a PVPer, so I don't know how good these changes are, but I imagine this is going to make the ability at least you know more manageable to deal with than it was before. Of course, if you're someone who enjoys PvP, let me know what you think of the new experience down below in the comments. And the last thing in the patch notes is that they have fixed the new search bar that is in the traits windows. If you're unfamiliar with this, they introduced the search bar into the traits window, so now you can actually search for your individual traits for in your personal traits, lockbox traits, you know, any of the trait windows, there's a search bar at the top. But if you had too many traits unlocked on that character, it would just crash the whole thing, which was frustrating because the more traits you have the more you want that search bar <laughs> this is a feature that i have actually been really wanting in the game for a long time now and i'm really glad that uh, not only that it's there but now that it's finally fixed so yay so yeah the main reason i wanted to do this video was to give console players the heads up about the pre-anniversary event giveaways so yeah those are going live today and they will be going up for throughout the whole week so be sure to be checking the promotions tab at the c store and, you know, since I'm already recording, I figured I'd go over those bug fixes for the PC side. But uh, let me know what you think of all this down below in the comments and, um, you know, usual outro stuff, yada, yada, yada. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to use my discount codes and all those places I always talk about. <laughs> uh, anyway, my name's Stu, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.